out here with John uh, with XGen Alliance and uh, this is their event so um, yes. can you tell us more about uh, Honda Day in the Bay well, what is that well Honda Day in the Bay is just uh, within the Bay Area for all Honda um, Honda and Acura vehicles coming together and meeting up with our vendors we have Honda um, vendors here uh, Remus and um, a few others that are here to uh, showcase their uh, products and uh, as you see over here in this area, we have tons, huge amount of people, and there's still people coming in this area. This is a brewery where uh, we do have eatery here too, but it's going to be on sale. And um, this is actually 45 minutes. After, it started at 11 o'clock, and it's for already 45 minutes. This is getting bigger and bigger as time progresses right here. Tell me more about X-Gen Alliance. What, what is that? X-Gen Alliance is not a car club. It's not a group. It's a movement. It's a movement that of our love and our passion for 10-Gen Civics um, on, uh, well, and talking amongst each other get, and networking about the products we use, whether it's Honda, K2, PRL, Engine, Mishimoto, we all come together and give, provide advices for exterior, interior, and performance mods. Chris Garcia, he is our president. He's, one, he's also the founder for uh, XGen Alliance. I'm just happy to be the vice president. But it came about to, uh, to show up to say, hey, we are here. We are representing us. This is for all tension owners and other Honda owners as well for, for different trim and different models to get together to network amongst each other to say hey we're to have FaceTime not just from a web page and through our Facebook and Instagram we're all here getting to know each other and have FaceTime amongst each other interpersonal reaction is the key so, so you mentioned Facebook and social media do you guys have a social media that people could follow and check you guys out more and get to know more information yes absolutely we do have an XGen Alliance page just follow this and we also have an XGen Alliance uh, Instagram page we have a individual named Dakota Hall who manages Instagram I manage and the, and, and the admin for the Facebook page and I want to share that we also do monthly giveaways I host that I have provided that I mean we have provided that we'd like to do things something different last month we did about pets on the best pets were the pets and their uh, tension civics uh, this month for September was about um, memes and next month we're gonna come up with different themes we like to do something different and we also uh, and like I said this page is for all of you we do this for you all I don't I personally don't really want to post about my cars I post all your cars with mark we watermark it because we want to make it a community that's what it's for how, how do people participate or join your movement Join movement is simply by uh, signing in, see what it's about, and uh, see yeah, see what we uh, do, what how we handle our uh, our page, what we provide. So, like I said, difference between a movement and a club. Movement is more a love and passion to for within international level. Okay, so we don't want to say. Uh, this is a club this is just a love and passion all right yeah i know a lot of people out here are really into hondas that's why they're out here yes sir. um how how big is x-gen alliance how big is x Gen Alliance? Okay. Are, are you guys nationwide or worldwide nationwide as of, i'm gonna say worldwide right now we are at approximately 670 members as of right now okay so you guys are, are still starting out because i noticed that the x uh, the temp gen si's are still fairly new they're like two years old right yes all right so uh, let's uh so we have behind you your your car, your Type R. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe you could walk around, um, see what you've done with it, and how you like it, what you don't like about it. Sure, sir. Uh, I also want to bring up first of all that about the little history about this. Um, I am retired Air Force, and uh, before on eight October two thousand one, right before we we right before my unit deployed to invade Afghanistan, and this is just right after nine eleven. I made a promise to myself at the time that I will, by the time I retire, and if I survive this deployment, I will um, own a 20, I will own the latest Integra Type R at that time, and uh, which I didn't know was gonna happen for a Civic Type R, and a Civic SI. Fortunately, I have fulfilled that dream. Not only I, not only I own this uh, 
2018 Civic uh, Type R. I also own a 2018 Civic Si that has the same uh, design. Excuse me, I have OCD. Now going with this uh, Civic Type R, um, I uh, purchased this right after Air Force retirement, and uh, I did mainly on the exterior and uh, exterior and interior mods. I, the only engine mod I would address is just a Mishimoto air intake and um, that's the only one I have but future mods is a PRL intercooler and a K tuner for engine management system so um, as far as exterior design so um, you know you like I would love to uh, ride with style so um, what I have here is uh, I, did, I also did add a little small suspension this is a uh, Cusco uh, tower strut bar it made a it just made a minor difference but it is still a difference so are you lowered at all or is uh, it negative height? I am not I am stock height right now and I do not plan on ever lowering it for the reason that in my opinion it's already lowered enough so now moving on um, this is um, moving on this is just the only thing I would address is just uh, the 35% tint all around and it's by window visors as you see over there I also already uh, did some interior work I added carbon fiber trim on the steering wheel and uh, put a Mugen carbon fiber Mugen uh, shift knob as well how do you like these seats I've heard oh. mixed reviews on them so how do, how do you feel about them um, they are comfortable very comfortable and they do hug you the only uh, yes <laughs> they are comfortable I got I got no complaints with the seats, awesome. but I do like is the Whoa. yes. What I do like is just the the signature red uh, seat belts. I, lo I love the red seat belts. Yeah. So, these are my two girls and uh, my daughter um, Milan. Uh, she already okay. at the age of eleven, she already knows how to drive a twenty eighteen Civic Si. I actually taught her a little early, teaching young. So, and I, one thing I like to share is. Uh, with this is it's what these decals here this is what I know I have an Air Force emblem here the Punisher emblem and the Christian like these are the values I have I, I love service to our nation I really believe for a believer of God and uh, I have the values of the Punisher that I just don't I believe in justice for uh, Fuzzy Ho is my call sign. I I don't like it personally, but it was given to me when I was uh, in the Air Force, and when you're in the military, they just pick it out for you. So okay. It's a reflection of what you do, and uh, that's another story. All so, right. going with this, I did tint out the the reverse the reverse side. Yeah, yeah, we call it the reverse light um, panel. So it just tinted, and it has LED as well. All right. Um, your president is is he here today? Yes, sir. He is here. He is actually back on the the brewery side. He does have his own uh, uh, 2017 Civic Si, and uh, as of right now, uh, he does he uses Honda as an engine management platform, and he already made it to uh, 12.9 seconds on the track. 12.9. Okay, that's pretty good. Yes, and that's just his fourth run. How do you feel about this whole rivalry of Honda versus K Tuner? I'm pretty sure you heard of that, right? Yes, I have heard of that so many times. And 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 me, I come from a biased approach on this. And I'm currently doing a college assignment on compare and contrast with Honda and K Tuner. Personally, I do have, I do prefer K Tuner. This this is just my opinion as of right now. I do prefer K Tuner just for the reason uh, that I'm just going to plug and play and just have fun I just want to add engine performance however if I want to do a uh, track if I want to do maximize the performance it's up to you it's really up to your tuner and the tuner I use is hybrid works very good shop and they prefer Honda for the reason that that's their the platform that's the engine management system they use yes I have heard negative and mainly negative stuff but um it's up to the tuner and how they build. Just keep in mind, uh, the knowledge level I have is still, I like to say, in the amateur level. So I'm still learning. I'm still doing this research uh, assignment just to determine that. But um, for the most part, it's, I believe it just, uh, my opinion, it's good for uh, their good products. K-Tuner, I prefer it. 
and I do heard you can tune it. It just depends who. You, I mean, you can custom tune it. It just depends on your tuner. So. Yeah, hybrid works. They're they're really good. I've I've dealt with them before. Anthony's a really cool guy. Okay. All right, thank you. No, thank uh, you so much for Anna. allowing me to have this time and getting to know me. So, and if you're interested, yes, please follow us. Oh, I forgot to mention we do have a YouTube channel too. It's Action Alliance YouTube channel. So please check it out and uh, thank you for your time.